Exactly how hard is it to start and maintain a poultry farm? You're probably considering starting a poultry farm and then you've told a few friends and then they're all telling you, hey, that's a no-go area. The chickens are going to die. You will struggle with the money. And you're wondering, should I start? Is it hard or is it easy? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video today. So please stick around. Welcome back to Farm Up. My name is Daniel. About one year ago, I started a poultry farm with no experience, no background in agriculture or veterinary medicine, and I'm doing well. And you too can do that, if only you keep the right steps. On this channel, I share with you people my experience, and I try to give you tips and advice for everyone who wants to start a poultry farm, so that you probably don't either make the same mistakes as I made, or you avoid making mistakes. All together so please subscribe to the channel and if you like the video please click the like button has anyone ever scared you and told you, you know don't start a poultry farm it's scary please comment below tell me your experiences I would love to know what you've gone through because most likely the reason you're here is because someone has told you something or you've heard things and you want to know more about it now there are very many reasons why poultry farms fail just like any business, your farm can fail. But just like any other business, your farm can succeed. You can become like me, who started out and on my very first go, I managed to succeed. Or you can become like very many thousands of other people who start out and fail. It all depends on you. If you haven't watched my story of how I started my poultry farm, I would recommend that you first pause this video, click just above here, so that you watch the story then you can come back to this video the number one reason why people fail to succeed in poultry farming is availability yes availability well that's the reason i'm here that's why i'm not recording with my poultry farm in the background because i was locked up close to my place of work so i can't manage to go to the farm which is about 30 kilometers from here i have no way of traveling now for me it might be a bit easier because after this one year, I've managed to put in place systems that can help me handle the farm better. But at the very beginning, if you're not available, you are meant to fail. Now, I will not talk a lot about availability because I've made a video where I talk about availability in detail. So please click on the link just here. Then you'll be able to watch that video. The other thing is proper preparation. Yeah. So before you start a poultry farm, before you even bring in the birds, before you get everything ready, you need to prepare. There are certain things that you need to prepare, yeah? You have to think about the money before you start the poultry farm. A lot of people start the poultry farms and they run out of money halfway the project. What will you do when you've run out of money halfway the project? You have no option but to sell the birds because you need some money. You're not going to decide to lose everything. And trust me, once you sell the birds, you have lost everything you're suffering a loss. It doesn't matter at what age they are. If you sell them before their point of market value or maximum market value, then you have lost everything. So you need to plan properly before you start the poultry project. Don't just sit down and think and be like, maybe I could have money, you know? No, sit down and plan. Make sure you, the source of your income is either certain, okay? Or you have savings. Otherwise, you're going to fail, yeah? The highest chances are that you're going to fail. When I talk about proper planning or having availability of resources, I'm not talking about having a lot of money, no. On my poultry farm, my farm is based on a deep litter system where I'm actually using manual drinkers. These are not automatic drinkers. These are drinkers where someone has to change the water daily and daily. And not just daily, but every time. Probably every two to three hours, the water is over and someone has to go and change the water. And I made them locally. I'll probably talk about it in one of my future videos, how to make drinkers locally, which is quite cheap and cost-saving. But if you plan and you do everything the way that you're supposed to do it, you're unlikely to fail. Now, this preparation is not just about money, yeah? You've thought about the market, you know? Where have you set up your poultry farm? You've thought about the prices of the feeds, yeah? You don't want to start your, your poultry farm at a point where 
when the chickens are consuming a lot of feed, the feeds are very expensive. No, you want to plan and start your poultry farm at a point where feeds are available on the market. That way it will become simpler on you. Otherwise, if you start the poultry farm and you haven't planned for that, the cost might become too high for you and you end up giving up. The other thing, have you thought about which kinds of chicken you're going to bring in? All that plays into preparation. You don't just wake up one morning and be like, hey guys, I'm going to start poultry farming. No, you need to prepare. Then the other thing, which is very terrible in poultry farming, infection prevention, stroke diseases. Yeah, the chicken can die. And trust me, I have not lost a single chicken due to disease on my poultry farm. Yeah, you have that right. Not even one. I haven't lost a single chicken. So how is that possible? You need to put in place the right infection prevention measures. Yeah? Let's take an example. I, I, I have a lot of Facebook groups that I follow. I keep seeing people posting that their chickens are dying. They have Newcastle disease. They have fall pox. A dose of Newcastle disease is less than $10. You heard me right, less than $10. How do you set up a poultry farm of a thousand birds and a dose for a thousand birds is less than $10 and you choose not to vaccinate your birds? That's called gambling with your investment, yeah? You're playing gambles with your investment. There are certain things which you can't compromise about. So if you've set up a poultry farm, vaccinate the birds, vaccinate them, take all the right infection prevention measures. Make sure that before people enter the chicken house, they have disinfected. Put a food bath with a disinfectant. It's quite cheap. If you watch my video over here about how much it will cost you to start a poultry farm, you'll get to know that the disinfectant is very cheap. It will probably cost you less than $5 and that disinfectant will be able to work for about three months. Yeah. So don't gamble with your investment. The other thing is taking the game serious. Yeah. There are people who start poultry farming and they never take it serious. What do I mean by that? Their brother is the one handling the money. Their mother takes away money when they want. You know, they let anyone come into the poultry farm. No, you're going to fail if you do things that way. You need to take it serious, yeah? Hire people. You can even put up an advert on Facebook. Do interviews. It looks like something very small, but I did it, yeah? I have just about 800 layers. Planning on expanding very soon. But I have just about 800 layers and to get a worker I had to put up an advert. So it's not only very big companies that put up adverts. No, you too can, yeah? And do interviews. Let the people come. Ask them, what do they know about the poultry farming? If you're starting out, you don't want to get a worker who is as naive as you. They have as little information as you. No, you want to get someone who has a bit more information than you. Not even just a bit more. Quite some information. So that you're both not empty. So take the thing serious yeah hire a vet tell them to keep coming over to the farm probably once a month they're not very big costs but they could mean a lot if you're not serious about it so take the farm seriously even if it is local chicken i've had people who say that local chicken don't need to be vaccinated or you know the um, the mixed breeds things like croilers kenbro kenyeji chicken they don't need to be vaccinated that's not true they also die so take the whole thing serious whatever kind of chicken you're keeping if you want to keep them and make money from them take the whole thing serious then probably the last thing which i know is one of the hardest thing for a lot of people reading yeah people don't like to read <laughs> and that's why i set up this youtube channel about one year ago, when I was looking for information, when I wanted to start my poultry farm, I noticed that there was a lot of scarcity of information. And because of that, I decided to start this YouTube channel so that I can educate more people. So that if they want to start up poultry farming, they have a bit more information. But I can only say too much, yeah? There's information on the internet. You need to develop the culture of reading. Go and read, yeah? Go and read. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy, yeah? So you need to read, you probably need to read about the poultry diseases. Like I told you, I didn't study agriculture, I didn't study veterinary medicine, but I have a lot of this information. How have I got it? By reading. So you need to read. Just the fact that you're on the internet and you're watching me right now simply means that you can access the internet and you can read. So there's information out there. So don't be lazy with your business. So if you take up the things that I've told you, you know, 
um, preparation, infection prevention, taking the business serious, all the things that I've told you right now. Poultry farming will become easy. I can tell you, for me, it has been not very easy, but I, I wouldn't say it has been hard because I had to discover exactly what feeds I needed for my chicken. At the beginning, I kind of gambled with the feeds. Well, I didn't gamble, but that's what I knew. And they didn't work out well until I found someone who recommended particular feeds that are working out very well for me. So, if you do the right things, everything is easy. If you don't do the right thing and you take it as a joke and you're not serious about it, then poultry farming will become very hard. So will I answer the question for you? Is poultry farming easy? It depends on you. Keep learning, keep studying, keep reading about poultry farming. In fact, right over here, you can find a playlist where you can watch all my videos where I talk about poultry farming. So click right there, get to know more, about the poultry farming that way you'll be able to save more and you'll be able to enjoy poultry farming more see you next time on the channel